Hi everyone, you're watching Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. Today I'm going to cook three ingredient easy glaze salmon recipe. This is touted as the most popular healthy salmon recipe. But as in all my videos, let's go to when I caught this fish in the wild. And then we'll come back to my bush kitchen and cook it up. I've got a couple of hours this afternoon, so I'm going to go for a fish up the creek. And there's a spot here with my name on it. I'm going to catch a fish for dinner or lunch. It's yeah, mid-afternoon. If we get one straight away, we'll cook it up. Otherwise, we'll cook it up either tonight or at home in the kitchen. But that looks like my first spot right there. Tide's pretty low, and I'm going to start with a mad mullet by Lively Lures. Great Aussie lures. And this is a good spot here. I've got a bit of a drain. Lots of mud coming out. A few prawns spraying around. And I'll just fish it nice and shallow. Keep the rod up high. As it comes out, lower the rod down a little bit and just fish it in the zone. That was something nice. Ah, he's gone. <coughs> that could be a thread fin. He's working his way up the bank. Let's see if we can intercept him. Yep, got him. Oh, I just heard another one. That's him. I'm sure that's the thread fin. Oh, yep. Oh, drop. No, still there. Still there. Oh, blue salmon. Blue salmon. Woo! Blue thread fin. Oh, they're good eating. Let's get that in. Oh! Very acrobatic fish. Come on. In the net. Oh! There we go. We got him. Oh! Blue salmon. Nice. Or blue thread fin. These are really, really tasty. Very tasty. Little glamour shot of the blue salmon or thread fin. Blue thread fin. If you ask me, these things are some of the best eating fish in the, in the creeks. A big juicy eye on him. Look at that. Ooh, and very streamlined. Um, big fork tail for power. Lovely fish. Legal size on these is 40 centimeters, and he is, put that tail right on that zero, he is 50 centimeters. It's half a meter long. Beautiful fish, 20 inches in American, I believe. They are it's the best fish. I just thought I'd show you the lure I got him on. It's the Mad Mullet in four inch gold, shallow diving. Really good lure, this. Australian made. If you want to get discount, 10% off a lure pack, check out the description below. I reckon we'll go cook that fish up now. It's gonna be delicious. So we're back in the bush kitchen and all the gear you see me use throughout my catch and cook videos are provided by Drifter. Let's get out what we need today. The cool thing about this pack here is it stores so neatly and nicely. Non-stick frying pan. This is a dinner set. Bowls, plates, little bowls, you name it. And we've got a rice cooker, we've got two different pots. So, and, a, and a big sieve as well. I also carry a um, like a little drifter duffel bag sort of thing with tongs, little mixing bowls. We'll need one of those or measuring cups. I've always got oil with me, soy, soy sauce we'll need. Need that. Little containers, they come in really handy, um, completely waterproof and yeah, very robust stainless steel. So we've got our beautiful salmon from earlier. I actually had to cut his tail off because he didn't fit into my esky. And what we'll do is we'll just rip some fillets off this. I'll just do this nice and quick. I've shown you how to fillet fish a hundred times in all of my catch and cook videos. So if you want to see how to fillet a fish, check out one of the other videos. Um, plenty there. So I'll just do this nice and quick. So this isn't actually a true salmon. This is a thread fin. There's blue salmon, uh, yeah, blue thread fin and king thread fin. I find the blues much better because they're so easy to fill it. The thread fins have nodules on their backbones. Um, yeah, a bit of a challenge, but still, still a nice fish. So we'll just rip the uh, the skin off these, nice and easy. Then I'm going to remove the pin bones by cutting down the lateral line. Then we'll portion the salmon into chunks, fairly fairly big fillety type chunks. Just doing a couple of cuts. And this knife that comes with the cutting board is super sharp. So yeah, be careful if you if you buy this. Then into a mixing bowl, 
we'll put some honey, soy sauce and mustard. I'm going with about two tablespoons of each and maybe just a little bit extra soy. Give that a really nice mix around, get it all incorporated. Ooh, that's looking, ooh, look at that. That is looking delicious. Honey, soy and mustard. Three ingredients to cook our salmon. A quick shout out to Holly, Holly's YouTube. Um, that's where I got the idea for this from, so thank you Holly. It's, um, yeah, it is touted as the most popular healthy salmon recipe. Once the marinades combine nicely, we put our fish into a Ziploc bag and tip in the marinade. Make sure it covers all the fish and let that sit about oh, 15 to 20 minutes minimum. So I've just sucked all the air out of that. You can see it's um, almost vacuum sealed there. I'm going to pop this into my esky under the bench and we will cook our accompaniment. Just some broccoli steamed in some water. We don't want the broccoli to go too far because we're going to let it sit. Oh, that's actually a really nice colour. So we'll turn that off. So into a pan I'm putting some sunflower oil. Not too much. We, don't, we want to make this nice and healthy. So when that pan's nice and hot, we drop our fish in. I've only got two pieces in, but that smells delicious. Honey and soy, can't go wrong. Mustard, it's going to add that extra little edge to it. And you can see the edge of the fish changing colour to white. That's when we turn it over, because it means it's about half cooked. And look at the coloration on that salmon. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, the little pieces are even better. Now, normally if I was out in the boat, I'd use one of the um, little plates in the dinner set. But, for presentation, I'm going to use a nice white plate. Because this fish is so delicate, I'm going to use both sets of tongs. One stainless steel, one's... Um, I don't know. I think it's stainless steel blackened. Anyway, we'll um, pull this out. Hopefully we won't drop it. Oh, look at that. That looks so delicious. I'm not sure if you can see the colour on that glaze. The white plate might be throwing it off, but that is some of the most delicious looking fish I've ever cooked. Just have a look at the caramelization on that meat there. Look at that. Now because there was honey in there, it kind of burnt a little bit, but we're not done, done cooking yet. So I'm just going to give the, the pan a nice little clean out, a little white with a paper towel. You'll notice it cleans up really quite well, really easily. The non-stick surface in that pan is really quite good. Anyway, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get this marinade, the stuff the fish was sitting in, and reduce it down to a sauce. There we go. And we have to be careful with this, we want to keep stirring it, otherwise it will burn as well. We just want to thicken it up and drizzle it over the fish. Oh, the honey and soy flavours coming out of that are just, just, oh, amazing. Okay, that's it. That was 30 seconds. If you take this too far, it will, um, literally burn but that is that is actually looking really good there we'll grab our broccoli put them on the plate and then finish off the whole dish by drizzling this jus or cooked marinade over the fish and we'll put some on the broccoli as well that looks spectacular check out the colors on that that is oh that is deliciously amazing looking hopefully you can see that the light's not it's all quite bright and but look at that oh i'm gonna hoe into that right now there you have it guys three ingredient easy glaze salmon and let's see if it is the most popular healthy salmon recipe there is it looks divine hopefully the colors are showing up on that Ah, uh, let's try a bit. Can't beat beautiful fresh salmon. 
Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. The honey is really, really accentuated. The soy, not very salty. You can tell it's soy. Mmm. Oh, that is good. That is very good. Mmm. Fresh salmon cooked this way. I can see why. It's um, one of the most popular, if not the most popular, healthy salmon recipe. Oh, mm. Let's just eat some of that sauce by, by itself. Look at that. Mm. I think I should put more honey in my cooking. Mm. Let's try um, a bit of broccoli. We'll drench it right in that sauce. Look at that. Woo! Mmm! Mmm! Sauce goes well with broccoli too. So this is, yeah, really nice and healthy cooking. Mmm, yummy. Mm. I'm gonna finish this off, guys. It's, it's delicious. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to watch more, I've got a really cool survival hike with video, a four-day hike up there, and I've got a really cool coastal forage video over here. I upload a new video every week and I'd really like to thank all my Patreon supporters. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.